Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to The Tech Agitator. I want to tell you really quickly about this new tool on AppSumo called Goals in Forms, where you can use AI to build unlimited online forms, surveys, and quizzes. And this tool appears to make it super easy to capture leads and get analytics from your customers. I really like that you don't need any coding skills and you can create any kind of form to attract whatever kind of leads you're looking for. Their forms integrate with many different platforms, which I'll show you here. And you can build forms from scratch or choose from a selection of templates to build any type of form pretty quickly. So taking you into the back end of the gozen.ai platform. And what I like here, guys, is that they pretty much lay out everything for you here. If you look in this panel over here, the guide is pretty much there all the time. And it's telling you all the things that you can do from, you know, of course, creating your first gozen forms, creating form using AI, getting started with workspaces, and also how to use a logic jump. I think this is a really cool feature, which we'll talk about in a little bit more detail here. But what I wanted to show you was, again, getting started with the goes in platform. That's the first item you'll see here. And it pretty much walk, pretty much walks you through everything you need to get started building your forms. So. As you can see here, these are just an example of some of the templates that are available for you to use. You can arrange the forms you've built on the right hand side, depending on their titles. And you can also switch between grid list and views and all that stuff, which will make more sense to you once you get into the platform and perhaps play around with it. All right. Um, and walking you through again, just this first item here, you know, go to create a form. They talk about how you can build forms from scratch. And they walk you through that design customization, which is really cool. I just really like that this platform walks you through everything you need to do to build your forms out. Share your forms easily across whatever different, perhaps social media platforms you want to use, uh, your email list, which we'll touch on a little bit here in a second as well. And these are just some of the apps that you can integrate it with. You see, we have MailChimp here, Google Sheets, Constant Contact, Slack, Active Campaign, Mailer Lite. And I also like that you can analyze your results. So this result tab is where you can see how your form is doing in terms of views, statistics, completion rates, how long it took the person to finish the form, what's Really awesome about that, too, is they have something called scoring where you can go in and if you have a form that's perhaps different sections, like let's say you have a form that's, you know, three different sections, you can break down to each individual section, like how many people completed that section, how long it took them to complete it. Of course, you can extrapolate results and see like if one section got more engagement and completion rates than the other one. I think that's pretty cool. It's a pretty fully customizable platform to, to use, like I said, to pretty much build any type of form you want to and get feedback and engagement from whatever customers you have, whatever market you're in, right? And um, again, there's logic jump here. So what I want to show you again is like, again, you can create forms using AI. And like I said, this guide walks you through that. So there's no need for me to really walk through all of these features here because this platform does a pretty good job at guiding you through all the things you can do and getting started with the workspace. Of course, this is where you are going to, of course, be building out your forms and creating everything. And it shows you the different views that you can look at it. Of course, there's grid view here, list view. Just if you have several different forms, you can look at it and look at the metrics in these various ways. And um, it walks you through how to move goes in forms from one workspace to another one within the application. Of course, you know, the technical stuff of deleting workspaces. But one of the things I wanted to show you here again was 
how to use Logic Jump. And what I really like about Logic Jump, like I mentioned before, is it gives you full control over which questions viewers respond to. So it pretty much operates off of if then logic. It allows you to define the rules such that when people reply in a certain way, they will see a certain set of questions only. And I like the example that it gives you here. Assume you wish to poll Android users against Apple users. We start with a question like, are you an Android or Apple user? However, we do not require Android users to view questions about Apple users or vice versa, Apple users to see questions about Android. So that's to give you an idea of the way you can formulate your forms. If you want to use a fully logic based menu, then you can pretty much tailor the entirety of your form to whatever information you want to get from your customer and walk them down whatever path you want to take them through. So I thought that was really cool. Um, branching and calculators. I want I won't get into all of that here, but the point was to show you how fully customizable this platform is and all the things that you can do with it. If you want to look at the different variables, how to use variables to calculate multiple totals in the form. That's what I was mentioning to you earlier. Variables are like running totals that your goals in form can keep track of. That means you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide numbers to see these variables as people go through your goals in form. And then there's, there's scoring, where again, you can look at, you know, what questions are getting more engagement, what type of quizzes you can automatically calculate user scores based on how they answered. Pretty sweet, pretty powerful platform. And we'll also look at question types here. There is a myriad of question types that you can choose from. Of course, welcome screen text paragraph, email phone number, multiple choice drop down, look rate, rating date number, yes, no, website, file upload, statement payment, just many different options for you to choose from. And of course, when it comes to sharing your goals in form, you can share the link, you can embed the link in your web page, and there also is very detailed instructions on exactly how to go about that. So they don't leave anything to chance here. They want to walk you through everything so that you will be able to use these forms and, and, and integrate them easily in whatever platform you're using. And I like that you can embed those in forms into your Shopify site. Of course, there's WordPress and they walk you through in pretty fine detail. Of course, there's a video here that walks you through all of that and your API keys, your domain and all that stuff. So um, there's the get the goes in form insights section where you can view your goes in form and its performance all in one place. Of course, we like to be able to go to one place to see everything that we've put our work into and and see how things are doing. And if you just look over here again to this left panel, it just lays out everything you can do with the form builder and how you can use it from api keys and email notification customizing your layout and of course all this fun stuff about font color adding your domain name edit after you publish it if you want to do updates after the fact and the last thing i'll touch on here is these integrations like i mentioned earlier it integrates with so many different platforms the more popular ones active campaign convert kit Discord, nice Google Sheets, GetResponse, HubSpot, MailChimp. If you just look at this list, it's pretty very, uh, pretty varied. Zendesk, that sort of thing. And um, I think it's a pretty powerful form builder. So if you're really looking to perhaps do some quizzes, get some, get some feedback from your customers on a maybe a new product or service you're thinking about offering or you want to get insight about something that you already have out there and you want to know what your existing customers or, or potentially your new customers think about it i think this platform offers you a, a pretty powerful tool to be able to develop the forms to get whatever you 
want to get whatever information you're looking to get from your from your visitors. And lastly here, again, like I mentioned before, this is available on AppSumo right now, goes in forms.ai. There is a deal available right now where they're taking 90, 96% off. You get it for $69. That's for their license tier one plan. And if you look down here, this deal ends in eight days, almost nine days. So if you want to check it out, I implore you to do so. The link is down in the description. After that eight days, of course, they're going to be probably either taking it off of AppSumo altogether and or raising the price for it. All right. And um, I'll close out here with just showing you some of the pricing. Of course, like I said, you can get started for free if you just want to play around with it. And you can pretty much utilize any of its features. And I think that free trial is 15 days. So you get 15 days to play around with the whole platform. Your starter kit starts at about nine bucks a month. And you can look at all the things you get here. 100 AI questions, a thousand responses per month, three, up to three users, one gig storage. Of course, you can come in and play around with all this. So ranging from free up to $99 for per month for, I'm sorry, yeah. Are we looking at, yeah, we're looking at monthly. Um, up to $99 a month for the advanced users. And with that, you get 2,000 AI questions a month, 100,000 responses per month. 10 users can use it on your account, 10 gigabyte storage. And of course, it goes on and on from there. So again, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the platform. I know that I am creating a couple of forms to use for my current email list to get their feedback and their thoughts about a couple of things I'm thinking about doing with my newsletter and just see what type of responses I get to gauge what um, kind of a kind of interest level they might have in some things that I'm thinking about doing. So again, that is gozinforms.ai. Go check it out. Once again, the link is in the description. And thank you for tuning into this video by the Tech Agitator. I hope you found it insightful and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Great. Have a good day.